Should I make something, goddess? Don't do it! Yes, I do! Mm. Yeah! 
for this meal. Mm -hmm. What rouses you at this late hour? Does the port concern you? I haven't been able to sleep much recently. When I think that Ishimaru might be the leader of the demons, I... You are likely overthinking things. Even so... I shall hear you out if there's anything you'd like to say. <sighs> Ishimaru and I belong to the same band of brigands, and our leader was Kaimaru's father. Kaimaru is the son of a bandit? 
He may have been a bandit, but he only stole from greedy lords and unjust warriors. The corrupt alone fell victim to his larceny. All of our bandit brothers were outcasts. Some fled the life monastic. Others found their homes ravaged by the fires of war. They found me after I had deserted and had no place left to go. That was when I met Kaimaru's father and Ishimaru. Well, this is... unexpectedly long one. They accepted me into their group, but as you know, I cannot wield a sword. That sort of cut purse cannot live up to his title. I thought I could at least tend the fields hidden in the mountains. Ah, uh, I think I can guess how that turned out. You can forego the details. <clears throat> at any rate, Ishimaru held a grudge against me, but... The boss found my incompetence humorous, and gave me the nickname Taoimon. Right. I think I grasped the greater picture. The boss truly did a great job looking after his own. But one night, Ishimaru cut down the boss, and took control of the group for himself. What? I see. So poor Kaimaru's father is dead. Ishimaru had opposed the boss's methods openly for some time before that. He believed that people should survive using any means necessary, and that our only goal as a group should be to become stronger. He even dipped his hand into the slave trade. Mirte, Kinta, and Yui were among his merchandise. I didn't have the strength to defeat Ishimaru. My only recourse was to help them escape. We fled through the mountains for several days, emerging from the thick mist. We arrived at the floating bridge of heaven. With Ishimaru in pursuit, hmm? Lady Sakura, I humbly apologize for asking this of you once again. But if the one controlling the demons is indeed Ishimaru, then please, could you find some way to spare his life? Uh, th that is quite enough prostration. I do not understand why you are so concerned for the welfare of this Ishimaru. The fires of conflict took everything from him, just as it did from Kinta and Yui. War changed him. It left him broken and alone. I am a samurai, and yet I alone lack the strength to help him. If there yet remains a way to save Ishimaru from treading the path to self-destruction, then I will find it, no matter what it takes! Gracious. Dial down the melodrama, would you? Have no fear. I shall grant your wish. I am a goddess, after all. Naturally, this is all assuming the leader of the demons truly is Ishimaru. My lady, I cannot thank you enough. Ugh. As I said, that is quite unnecessary. Stand up already. You must hold yourself in higher esteem. The others rely on you more than you realize. You, you truly think so? I do. I shall be counting on you, Taoimon. Be off then. I go now. Ha! 
be off then. I go now. I'm heading out.
the meaning of this? Was this castle always here? As shrouded in mist as the mountains may be, we still should have been able to see something of this size from the past. Furthermore, the structure clearly differs from Lord Takaribi's fort. This leads me to believe that the leader of the demons has been quite diligent in its construction. And for some time, no less. So, this leader is skilled enough to have built such a grandiose castle right under our noses, hmm? Now then, how shall we proceed, Princess? We've come this far already. It shall be a pile of rubble ere long. Yeah! Ha! You're out of here! Yeah! Ha! 
So, it was him after all. Is he asleep? An aura of intense malice surrounds him. My hair is standing on end. There remains no doubt that he is the leader of the demons. Ah, I was wondering who weaseled in here. If it isn't the brat from the bridge. It has been some time indeed. You've grown quite powerful since I last saw you. Well, you know, I got here well before you folk. I had plenty of time to sharpen my edges, if you catch my drift. If you knew we had come, why did you not bring your full might to bear against us? I had my hands full with other stuff. Some rowdy fellas needed a good thrashing. <laughs> had to show them who's boss around here. <laughs> In any case, your time is up. I've defeated your underlings. You are the last. Surrender and stand down! The last, you say? Those demons were just for show. You've defeated nothing, and you never will. I dare you to try and lay a hand on me! It's time to pay you back for what you did to me on that bridge. Then, I'll take care of Katsura, along with the woman and the kids. He's coming, princess. Taimon, I shall stop him in your step. as you did before. I shall let you go, so make your egress. I made a promise to spare your life. You won't kill me? <sighs> this is Katsura's meddling, isn't it? That irritating little... He is concerned for you! You may not have the words for him now, but someday you should speak with him frankly. How naive. Given the chance, I'd sooner slit his throat than listen to his drivel. Besides... <laughs> Before long, hmm? 
Before long what, pray tell? What is this? An earthquake? Ah! Princess! Look! The mountain... it's... burning! <laughs> it's begun! What is the meaning of this? Tell me! Surely you already know his name. The evil god Omizuchi has awoken. Oh, Omizuchi, you say? Ridiculous! He was... Indeed, he was put down by the gods in the capital and the Ashikumo tribe. But he didn't die. He escaped and hid deep within this island, biding his time. What?! As soon as I arrived on this island, we found each other. He and I are one and the same. I could smell it on him. That same stench of irrepressible hatred and fury I know so well. I lent a hand in healing his wounds, and in exchange, he gave me the power of demons. After we had destroyed the capital together, we had planned to cross that bridge and assault the lowly realm. But look at what he can do merely by waking up. Your mind will bobble at what happens when he bursts forth from beneath the earth. He amassed such incredible power for the sole purpose of blowing the god's capital to bits. <laughs> uh, you wretch! Wait, please! Killing him will change nothing. You made a promise with Tauimon. But... what? He will reap his just deserts in time. You know full well how a human bereft of demonic powers will fare on this island. True. If he does not rely on us, he will know no peace. Still, none of this bodes well. <sighs> Say, Tama, do you think I can defeat Omizuchi as I am now? You have truly grown strong in both mind and body. You are likely stronger than most gods in the capital now. For me, there is no greater happiness. However, unfortunately, you have yet to reach your father's heights. And it seems as though Homizuchi is much more powerful now than he was in the past. It would take the full might of every god in the capital to bring him to heal. If only Lord Takeribi and Lady Toyohana would return. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Princess, do you wish to protect this island? The island where your parents met? The island where you have worked and lived alongside the children of men. Of course I do. But what can we do alone? We have spoken of the power that lies dormant within your divine raiment. Should you desire it, a suitable sacrifice is required. To put it in simpler terms, you can obtain power if you pay a price. What are you trying to say? Now is the time to summon forth the hidden power within your holy keepsake, my lady. That raiment's true name is the shawl that crosses realms. I do not know who made it, or to what end. Nor do I know what will happen if you unlock its true potential. No matter how resolved you are to stand firm against Omizuchi. And then... Then? I, Tama. The holy edge of Hoshidama will melt myself down and be reformed into a new farm tool for you. If you wield a farm tool that holds the power of the holy sword, you may be able to pierce even Omizuchi's fearsome hide. Nay, I will strike Omizuchi true, even if it takes everything I have. You will melt 
down and be reformed? How can you say that, Tama? If you do that, you'll surely... My soul now resides only in the hilt of the sword, granting me this physical form. If I am dissolved and reformed with new iron, I will be reborn as a holy sword, but I will likely lose my soul in the process. No! Why would you task me with making such a dreadful decision? Are you telling me to offer you as a sacrifice? You who raised me all by yourself? You are very kind, Princess. I am not worthy of such sentiment, truly. My heart overflows with joy. However, in the end, I am but a sword. I cut down countless foes in the able grip of Lord Takiribi. So if I can once again fulfill that duty by acting as your sword, then I will pass beyond this realm free of worldly regrets. you would set me upon. A victory without you would be hollow! You must show that insolent Omizuchi the willpower possessed by the gods of Yanato! This is ridiculous! I won't have it! Your sacrifice does not assure our triumph. We may all end up dead regardless. Yes, it is as Kinda said. It is not worth it if we are killed. Hear me, Tama. Do not speak of this again. That is an order from your master. Uh, princess. Mud? No. Ash mixed with rain. In any case, let us return home for now. I am concerned for the others and our fields. <laughs>